Hi, this is Bilal from Spackle, and in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to install the Blender connector. Let's get started. Like most of our connectors, Blender connector is also installed via the manager. So if you don't have manager installed, there will be a pop-up in the top right corner of this video. Go there, download the manager, install it, and come back. So once you have manager installed and open, installing Blender connector is actually pretty simple. Simply find it from the list of available connectors. So you can either click on install button directly from here or get into the connectors page and click on install button from here. So this will install the latest stable release for the connector. In, at the time of this recording, it was 2.15. If you're watching this in the future, it'll probably be different. So let's say that you are interested in having an earlier version for, for the Blender connector. How do you get that? It's actually pretty simple. Simply switch to the versions tab and from here, you will have all the, late, uh, all the stable releases for it available. So you can install an earlier version if you want to. If you want to stay on the cutting edge for the Blender, then you need to turn on this show pre-releases option. And now you will have all the alpha releases, beta releases, release candidates, everything we release available right here. So you can install them from here. All right, so now let's open Blender and activate our connector. So here we are in Blender and just like any other Blender plugin, uh, we need to go to the edit preferences and from here go to add-ons and simply search for speckle and simply check this option. Now you will have the Blender connector installed and available inside Blender. So I'll simply press N from my keyboard and now I have a new option for speckle and from here I can initialize my connector. <clears throat> and here are all the streams, projects, and models I have. So I can send and receive from different applications like Revit, Rhino, AutoCAD, etc. Or send my Blender models to the Speckle and receive that model in other applications. So that was it. If you face any issues, let us know at speckle.community. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.